Hello friends, are you looking for the key to your project success? If yes, then you should look for acceptance criteria. In our today's presentation, we are going to talk about how acceptance criteria can be a key to your project success. Welcome to my channel Q Analysis and I am your host Prashant Kumar and let's begin with our today's presentation at Q Analysis. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please feel free to subscribe for learning more on software testing, software development and business analysis concepts. Feel free to like, share and subscribe my channel and here we go with our today's presentation. Success or failure of your project depends largely upon few of the points which I am going to mention over here. You have to understand three questions, who, what and why. For example, never get into development without the story or narrative having the priority. The story or the narrative should have the depending complexity. If it is not defined, never go for it. And then acceptance criteria is one of the key component. Knowing what the end-to-end -end testing scenario is and are. Sign up for the customer for all of the ever. This is very important. Then. At last, you need the estimate from iteration based on all of this above. So you can see in this cartoon strip what I have attached. If you don't have the acceptance criteria clearly mentioned, then it becomes very hard. If you don't ask questions, it becomes very hard for you to go ahead and understand the concepts. So now we are coming to a question that is what are acceptance criteria? Acceptance criteria are the conditions that a software must uh, satisfy to be accepted by user or customer. So until unless it is not satisfying the conditions, it will never be accepted by user and that is the main definition of acceptance criteria. Acceptance criteria are a set of statements, each with a clear pass or fail result that can be measured and specify the both functional and non-functional requirements. So again, I am a fan of Delbert and you can see over here, it's easy to lose the list, but you don't have to if you want your success to be, uh, if you want your project to be a successful one. How to write and why to write? We'll answer these questions in the upcoming slide. Why to write? Define the boundaries of a user story or feature. Help, it helps the product owner to answer what exactly value he or she is providing, helps the team to gain a shared understanding, helps the developers and tester to derive tests, and help, help developers to know when to stop adding more functionality to a story. So these are five very important points which help you to decide why to write acceptance criteria, boundaries, providing value, shared understanding, test, and when to stop. So depending on these five, you you get to know why exactly you should have acceptance criteria defined. And now we come to the question how to write. Good acceptance criteria should have an intent, it should be an intent and not a solution. It should be independent of implementation and it is relatively at a high level, need not be the detailed one. It should be smart. Smart means simple, measurable and actionable and uh, ready to be implemented as well as timeable, which can be configured in, in due course of time. Have an observable result, include active actions, environment, condition and context, and are written from user perspective. These are the main reasons for which it is very important to write uh, acceptance criteria. You should write in your acceptance criteria for this reason. And how not to write? Watch out for ambiguous languages, subjective judgmental language, better good allowable, they shouldn't be there. Generalizations, all the time, never, everyone always should be avoided. Observed behavior that is not directly related to the story currently under consideration should be avoided. So you should watch out for all these four points while writing a um, acceptance criteria and make sure that this thing should not be there. And what and not how, that is a very important criteria which you should um, understand while maintaining what is expected and not how the functionality will be implemented. Functional requirement and acceptance criteria are different things, so you should dif differentiate it. Requirements are what you are supposed to do in terms of given a story or functional requirement and acceptance criteria are the agreed upon measures to prove you have done. Acceptance criteria are defined as conditions that user or story must specify in order to be accepted by users. 
and here comes an example I'm giving an example you can try it your own and figure out how to write acceptance criteria as a user I want to switch application language so that I understand app content the acceptance criteria for this requirement would be something like user can change the site language site content corresponds to selected language translation is correct and doesn't contain critical mistakes translated content doesn't break at any specific layout no bugs are high and normal priority related to switching of the languages remain open so these are the acceptance criteria which we can relate to the given requirement of the user story so this was an example thank you friends thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel if you're really interested to learn more on business analysis software testing and software development concepts keep watching my video 